Hi guys, this is Asun and welcome to my channel. If you guys don't know, I do beauty, fashion, lifestyle video on my YouTube channel. Make sure you guys subscribe down below if you're interested on those kind of video. You guys should follow me on my Instagram. I'm gonna leave my Instagram name up here because that's the place where I post mostly on my outfit and my fashion and style. So for today's video, I'm doing a new in spring haul. So if you guys are interested what are the items that I purchased, then let's keep on watching. So I'm just gonna hop right into the stuff that I got from Sarah. First of all, I did purchase this little top over here. I've been looking this kind of silky blouse all over the place, but they tend to be a little expensive. I saw them on Free People, I saw them on like some Nostrum website, but I feel like they are just kind of overpriced. So I really like the material on this from Sarah, and this is like the perfect color for springtime and just really in trend with this color right now. I feel like, because I see a lot of bloggers, they are really into those kind of brownish nude tone and I feel like this would match a lot of my bottom. And it's just really easy to make your outfit to look professional and this is definitely, it goes to my work outfit category because it still look professional but still it's comfy with the silky kind of texture on this blouse. So I feel like this blouse, you can dress it up or down. You can actually pair it with your trousers to, for work or you can pair with um, what I did is the green, kind of like a jogger sweatpants, but it still looks like put together. It's not too like sweatpants that the one that I'm wearing right now. So I'm kind of amazed with the brownish with the green color. It matched perfectly and with heels on the bottom, it just gives you a very nice professional outlook still. You just not overdressed kind of look. And also these are from Sarah as well. I did purchase two tops from them in the same style. So this is like a balloon sleeve style top and I actually purchased different color. Black is just like goes with every color on the bottom, on your trousers. And I did decide to go with the yellow one because I don't have a pop of color in my closet. And I feel like the yellow would just match with the spring season and just kind of like a pop of color. It matched nicely with the darker or just the white jeans. I feel like it will look nice to tuck in the bottom into your jeans. And I feel like this would just make your look put together. And even though I normally don't wear this on the weekend because I like to wear more of comfy clothes on the weekend, but usually on the work day, I like to pair with like a simple top like this and then the trousers or just jeans on the bottom. And it just looks like kind of a casual work day outfit. I feel like you can see a little on the inside, but it's not fully see-through. So I feel like you can just wear like a nice tank top on the underneath so that to prevent um, any see through it, that would be fine. But I just love this two color and especially the balloon sleeve. It just gives a very nice details. And after trying this top, I'm definitely keeping these two in my wardrobe. Next item, I just purchased a very simple white t-shirt. I've been actually looking for a white t-shirt that doesn't see through and it's not too thin out of material for so long because I did purchase a lot from different websites. I end up return them because they just kind of see through your bra on the inside. I mean, this is not necessary that it's not see through, but it's not seeing as much on the inside. I feel like if you wear like a white tank top, it can just still workable if you go in this with work outfit and sometimes you just have those casual day on Friday and it's just kind of weird if your t-shirt is kind of see-through at your workplace and it's just not appropriate at work so I feel like this is a really good piece and I just like that the fact it's kind of oversized I did actually order a size medium because I like a more loose fitting and normally if I wear this to work, I would just tuck it into my jogger or tuck it into my trousers. So the next item, I did purchase this kind of pinkish, simple t-shirt. I don't think I have anything like this. And I did purchase this in a size small because this is meant to be oversized and it just says Los Angeles 1985. And I do like the texture on this t-shirt, it looks really comfy. And also now that summer is almost here, I feel like I can get to wear this kind of t-shirt with um, short jeans or just skinny jeans, just more of a simple weekend outfit look. 
And I feel like t-shirt is just a staple outfit in my collection because you can just wear it up or down whenever you like and most likely I like to wear them on the weekend because they are just really comfy and I just like how the wording in black pair with this kind of dirty pink color. Next item I got from Zara. I was actually hoping to return this again because they're a little pricey and I got this in a size small. So this is more like a coat or would you call it like a work blazer and it is really cute actually in person because it does have little fringe edging on the side and the texture on this is kind of looks like linen which is what is really in trend right now with the texture um, on clothing but it actually made in 100% cotton I just checked and I was kind of surprised because it doesn't look like it's made from cotton and first of all I just love the color because it's just like a dark blue color and actually I do have a lot of things in black so this kind of changed things up a little and the second of all this button it just gets me it's like a double cross button you can do it on um, one side and I just really like the button it's just like those kind of like fancy glitter diamond button and I just love either you want to close it up and it shows all the button or just open it up with this blazer and it just looks really cool kind of looking like girl boss looking I feel like a little design on this it just gets me because of the fringe and also again the button and the color everything oh and the other top that I actually haul two months back I'm not sure if it's still on the Zara website but I'll link it down below if I found it so this is like a summer very summer vibe kind of top and it has like a sunflower pattern on top and it does have this little bow and it's a very deep V kind of um, design I just love that the bottom is really loose and like fringe I love 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 this kind of pattern during the summertime and it's actually more like a see-through top so you guys have to wear like a bralette or you can wear like a tent top inside but I'm just loving the color and the deep V and the whole design on this it just gives me that very summery vibe so in Zara I did actually purchase quite a lot of bottoms and usually I purchase from Zara because they're more kind of like put together kind of look and you can just wear them at workplace so I did purchase these trousers they're more kind of like casual bottom and but still you can pair this with a blouse or something like this would work really well when you're at the workplace or something simple like this would work as well so I just love this kind of trousers that you can pair a lot of different kind of top that you have so this is like in um, military green color I love this color because it's kind of like casual but still it looks put together and look professional and I like the bottom it's not as tight and if you guys do have big thigh you guys know the issues because when you sit in the office for more than eight hours you just gonna get tired of the jeans that being so tight underneath your bottom area and sometimes this might be a little TMI but you might sweat a little down there if it's like in a very hot summer day and if you're having a really tight jeans up there and you have big thigh so it's kind of struggle for me to wear those kind of jeans to kind of suffer without any air coming in in the bottom if that makes sense but I just love something that kind of flowy but still it's not like a sweatpants but still you have air coming in on the thigh areas and because I love this kind of style so much and I did actually purchase another color in the same style so this is in a dark blue color and because I already have a lot of black bottoms so I want to go with some different color but still stay in the dark color category so I go with this dark blue and I just love this color and other item that I saw a blogger she's from British and actually these days I've been seeing a lot of different Sarah haul from British 
blogger and that's how I got all my inspiration on the outfit and surprisingly this jogger if I only see on the Zara website I don't think I would purchase it but the girl that I saw online she paired this with the blouse from Zara as well. So this is the exactly outfit that she paired with and I just fell in love with the two items that she paired because first of all the brownish silky finish color it's just look really gorgeous and pairing with this color it just like it gives me a new inspiration so this bottom is more like a jogger but still on the very bottom you have this little um rubber band that it kind of ties up your fit your angle so that it doesn't look like it's just a flat big jogger and I did actually wear this to work for a couple times last week and I did pair with a lot of different kind of tops. It still looks like a little casual but paired with like my booties, it just look like you're still trying to put together with your work outfit. And I'm surprised the texture on this is not like suede texture but it looks like there's a little silky texture but not suede finish. I don't know what kind of texture is this. If you guys know, leave a comment down below. But I just love this texture and the color heating with the light reflecting. It looks more expensive than what you look online. So I highly recommend this jogger if you guys like more of a comfy bottom to wear for uh, 8 hours a day. If you guys sitting often, then go for something that is comfy for your bottom. The next bottom, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it because I saw it online and I do like how it looks. So this is like a kind of like a blue jeans, but the texture of this is kind of like a silky, very smooth texture. And I feel like this would be really comfortable to wear at a workplace again because it's really wide on the bottom. So for sure you can breathe through these pants and again the thigh area is really big but once I put it on, I feel like it's a little baggy on me and I don't like the bottom how it looks. The bottom is a little of a white finish. So I feel like this is more on a really comfy side and it's kind of like a sweatpants on me. I'm not sure is it the size is too big, but actually this is a size that I purchased on the other bottom that I have with Zara. Next item, I saw this online and I immediately fell in love with it. So if you guys know me, if you guys want to go to my Instagram, you guys can see I really love that cargo style pants because that's just like really in hype right now and I do feel like the style does match my um, outlook or just my style. So this is the beige color kind of like cargo pants. I feel like it's more like a jogger but the reason it's more like a cargo pants because the side pocket and I fell in love with this. I wear this at workplace for a couple times. It's a little more on the casual size but it really depends on what kind of shoes you pair with it and what top you want to pair with this. So you just have to play around with um, the stuff that you have and the way that you dress, it really make a huge difference on what you pair with different kind of clothing. So that's why I really love fashion because you can mix and match and create a different kind of look. But this cargo pants, it comes with this belt and I feel like the belt, it just really matches nicely with the color of the um, jogger or this cargo pants. So it does have little details on the belt and I really like the color and I have been looking for this color kind of cargo pants for a while now. And also what I like about this is it actually have a pocket on the side and a pocket on the bottom. And I feel like this is just really in trend. And other top that I purchased from Zara and I saw this online, I immediately just have to order it. And I did order this in a small size and it fit me perfectly. So I feel like a lot of my top wear, I do like to have a certain type of design. So I feel like um, this balloon sleeve, it just looks very nice and trendy. It just kind of like boosts up the whole outlook even though you're wearing a very simple bottom. So I feel like this balloon sleeve is just really in my style. I love it. I just love they have this kind of 
band to make the whole balloon sleeve more obvious and on the bottom part it does have this elastic band as well so you can just wear it with your high jeans and it just wrap around your body tuck in very nicely and i just love this color right here and because i love that color and the whole design a lot and i did purchase with a gray color so i did end up wearing this to non-stop in this two weeks when i purchased this and i just love how it looks kind of like a casual but still it gives you some style and i just love how comfy it is and amazingly this is kind of thick kind of finish and it still keep me very warm during this transition on the winter to springtime and actually it has been raining a lot lately so amazingly this weather it did keep me warm during the raining season and i just love the design so here it comes to the last sarah item i have been eyeing this kind of muse for a while so i have a pair from steve madden but they're not comfy to walk around so i've been hunting another pair of black muse and i finally found this from sarah and i don't know if there's a style name i'm gonna just leave the link down below i just really like the bottom part because they're thick enough and they are really comfy to walk around but still this is like kind of like a really cool design because this bottom part is in translucent you can see through actually so i really like this design so that's all the item that i got from zara and now moving on to mango mango actually i got introduced while i was in hong kong but i never found something that i like while i was in hong kong because i don't know the style is different or just the texture material is different but i feel like i purchased here um, in the u.s online because i don't have any mango store around me and i actually got a lot of inspiration again from a lot of british youtuber and i just love their style and i found this item from their channel so this is like a really nice not pencil skirt what do i say this it's like a midi size skirt with this brownish nude color again this is really in trend with this color this year and i just have been eyeing this kind of um, midi skirt for a while because it's also popular to wear at a workplace and also on the weekend for um sunday brunch i can just wear this out and amazingly the material on this skirt is very soft and nice and i feel like it's really worth the price i got this actually in a size small and it fit me perfectly and i just love that it has a string that you can tie around your waist to emphasize your waist and this color is just gonna match a lot of my outfit and i just love the length of it also from mango i did purchase this um kind of like a cardigan and I actually do own a lot of different cardigan, but I feel like I need something that it could be more of a tidy looking, not oversized, and they still look like kind of expensive. So I feel like this really achieved my goals. So this is also from Mango. I got this in a size small, and I just really like how clean the edge, like the finish of it everything is just look elegant but the only complaint that i have is the sleeve is kind of like an oversized on me i don't know is that what it meant to be but i can just still work it out just roll up the sleeve but i feel like this it just look like kind of expensive looking kind of cardigan i would say it might look like a racia kind of material and design but with slightly cheaper price i would say so a lot of my cardigan that i own actually i purchased from zara or just from top shop but they're more of a street wear style they're just not something that it would long lasting so i feel like i need something that is good in material it holds on very nicely after a few years wear so i feel like this is the right piece that i could invest on it so actually the last item that i purchased from mango is this earring i did hear a lot of good things about jewelry from mango and they do last very long so i would just want to pick one up to try it out and this is just like a really basic um hoop earring and with more of a design and i just love the way that it matches my skin tone with the gold earrings and also 
this is very easy to wear and I mean it's very wearable kind of earring you can match with a lot of your outfit so that's all the stuff that I got from Mango moving on I did purchase two dress from ASOS so I've been eyeing for a black midi skirt for a while but they are always out of stock on nostrum.com so I finally find this pair it fits my waist perfectly and the length is so perfect on my petite size but this is just a regular fit and with my petite height I feel like this just hit the right length on me and again I like pairing this with a lot of casual outfit or a blouse again I feel like this would match a lot of my bottoms and you're gonna see that a lot on my Instagram and the last item from ASOS this is what I got the most excited about this haul so this is the leopard print dress and I have to say I love this I love the silky kind of finish I know they're not real silk but with the light reflecting I just love how it hits with the light and reflecting bounce back with the different color and I just love the length spaghetti um, string and it hit perfectly on my height and there's a split on the side as well and I did actually get inspiration from a British youtuber as well from her purchase and I'm glad I purchased this item I feel like this item it will be out of stock so fast so hopefully when I link it down below you guys can still get it but I love how she paired this kind of skirt with so many different ways it kind of just like a lot to play around with this dress and I'm so excited to style this and you guys still gonna see a lot of this outfit on my YouTube channel so moving on to the next purchase I did in Topshop and this is a jumpsuit if you guys don't know jumpsuit is really in trend right now and there's a lot of different kind of jumpsuit or different color but I did go with this like a black or dark blue denim finish with um, contrast Stitch. I just love the whole color and the stitch combination with this and actually again the same British youtuber that I saw she has this kind of suit like a jumpsuit on her and she did purchase hers on mango website but it's kind of pricey I think it's like around $200 and this is like half of that price so I'm really glad that Topshop did came up with the same style from Mango but a lot affordable price. I have to say this is a little heavy on the jumpsuit but it's very durable kind of denim. I feel like I can wear this all day long. And to be honest the denim is a little stiff but I feel like that is the way that it helps to keep the shape of this jumpsuit. And I'm surprised this jumpsuit it fits me perfectly. I did actually roll out the bottom but because I'm a petite size and it still fits me after rolling just um, two flip on the bottom it still looks very nice and it suits me perfectly with my size so last but not least the last clothing brand that I purchased is from cotton on so they have the most basic affordable stuff first of all I do have this kind of like a ruffle finish sleeve tank top and it's a crop top actually and I really like the design on this ruffle is still really in trend but it's just the quality of this top I feel like it's not as good as I thought it would be because it's really see-through and on the try on you guys may see it looks kind of weird on me because I do have like a white tube top inside because or else it would just show my bra underneath and I also did purchase another crop top and this is also from cotton on and if you guys don't know a line is really still in the trend right now and I've been looking for this kind of a line um, finish for a while because it's, it's just really expensive I see a lot of them on reformation but they are just kind of overpriced so I'm glad that I got this from cotton on they're really affordable and the material on this is really nice actually and I am going to keep this because I just love the finish of the top and crop top in summer it's just really easy to match with like a high waist shorts so moving on to the next top this is kind of like a linen finish 
top i would say this is not like a crop top it still has the length but just the bottom is more like a round finish so that i do like to tuck my shirt into my jeans at the front part so that it doesn't just show my belly accidentally but i just love 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 the color combination again kind of like a brownish new color it's really still in the trend right now and i like the pattern and I feel like linen is still really in trend in this spring to summertime. I know that last year linen is really in trend. A lot of clothing brand did that. But I feel like a lot of linen finished clothing is kind of overpriced. I saw a lot on Nordstrom. They are really expensive. But I feel like this, I'm not sure it's this linen. But it does look like those linen finished um, top and the next item again jumpsuit is really in trend right now but you gotta have some jumpsuit and shorts for it because it's summertime it's hot and I have to say the material on this is not perfect it's kind of like a see-through material but I don't think it's that bad I think I can still wear a bralette and an underwear underneath and I really don't care if I'm really hot in the summertime and I just love the contrast of the button. It's like a brownish color. And the phoenix, it just hit right on above my boob, if that makes sense. So it's not showing too much on the boob area, but still it gives you some um, contrast with this blouse kind of finish. And surprisingly, the shorts, it fits me because I do have a bigger bottom. But this one, it fits perfectly. Thinking of how affordable this price, I thought I would got stuck when I try this on because this is like a really tight area, but it is in the elastic band finish. So I'm really surprised how you can just like stretch it out. And I just really like how they put this kind of like a little tie. You can just emphasize your waist, make it look like slimmer. And I just really love this kind of easy black casual wear during the summertime. Still, you can breathe through these shorts. So last but not least, this is a very long one-piece dress. And this is also the reason why I shop on Cotton On because I just love this dress. And I actually saw this on an Instagram where she was a blogger and she showed this in her story and i'm just like i have to go on just pick this up so this is a little pricier in the price in cotton on this is like a 40 dollars dress but i feel like this is just a statement piece and it looks really gorgeous with the pattern it does have those little butterfly i'm not sure what are those but it just looks like really summery vibe and i do like that it's button down again and it does have a split on the bottom and again it does have this little thing to tie around your waist to emphasize um, your shape and I just really like the color combination the pattern on this and also it's just very summery look on this one and I'm sure I'll be wearing this a lot during the summertime so be aware you guys are gonna see that on my Instagram post but I'm just really loving the pattern and I have been looking for a long dress for so long and if you guys know with petite size sometimes it's just hard to look for like a exact length for your height but those items that I just hot surprisingly it just have the right length on me I'm 5'4 so I'm really glad that um, this item it works out for me okay guys so that is all my new in spring haul and I hope you guys enjoy watching this video so if you guys like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next one bye